Welcome back to Smackdown Cooking. Today we're going to be making JR's Smash Down Potatoes with Attitude and the Hardy Boys Chicken Fried Steak. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the. All we need to make JR's smash down potatoes with attitude is one head of garlic, three pounds of red potato, some milk, butter, and salt and pepper. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is get our garlic and potatoes ready. For this, we're going to go ahead and peel our garlic into individual cloves and chop off the ends. We're just going to take the cloves, cut off the end, smash it a little, and that's it. And you're going to do this for the whole head of garlic. Now for our potatoes, I'm going to go ahead and skin them. You don't have to, but I'm going to. And then we're going to cut them into equal size cubes. Now that we've peeled the potatoes, let's go ahead and cut them. Now once you've gone ahead and cut your potatoes up into cubes, you're going to put them in a pot of water and bring that up to boil for 20 minutes. Now while your potatoes come up to a boil, we're going to heat up a little bit of olive oil in a small saucepan and we're just going to go ahead and throw in our garlic cloves. Now we're going to let that come up to a simmer for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. Now that we've sauteed our garlic for 15 minutes. We're going to go ahead and take the garlic and just pop them right out of their shells. Now, you're going to take your sauteed garlic and you're going to put it inside of your blender or your magic bullet or here I'm using a food processor. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of milk and we'll give this a mix. I've gone ahead and strained our potatoes. All we need to do now is go ahead and put in a quarter teaspoon of pepper, four T teaspoons of butter and add in our garlic and milk puree. Go ahead and combine all this together and salt it to your preference.
that you're going to need to make the Hardy Boys chicken fried steak is some cooking oil, seasoning salt, as well as regular salt, some pepper, paprika, an egg, some flour, and milk, as well as a four and a half inch thick ribeye steak. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is take your four and a half inch thick ribeye steak and you're going to want to tenderize it and thin it down to about an inch, inch and a half. For this, I'm going to go ahead and use a meat tenderizer. And there you have it. Now you're going to want three quarter cups of flour, and to that you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of seasoning salt, as well as a quarter teaspoon of regular iodinized salt. You're going to mix this together. And in a bowl, you're going to beat one egg. Now we're going to go ahead and bread our steak. To do this, we're going to dip it into the egg wash and then into the flour. We're going to go ahead and cook it, and to do this, I'm going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of cooking oil. And after I bread my steak, I'm going to place it into the hot pan, let it cook for about a minute or two on one side, then I'm going to flip it over, I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to let it cook for about a half hour. Put it on a medium low and let it cook for about a half an hour with the lid on. Now after you finish frying up your steak, you're going to want to take three tablespoons of the drippings and put it in a medium pan. To that, you're going to add three tablespoons of flour, one teaspoon of salt, and a cup and a quarter of milk. You're going to mix this all together until it thickens. Now we're going to go ahead and pour this over our steak. And there you have it, the Hardy Boys Chicken Fried Steak.